you one of the busiest women I know and I don't know how you do it and how do you find time for your sense of self when you've got everyone at you and running you know a major magazine and, and everything else that you do and all your media commitments do you ever pick up the phone and go no I can't or I need time out for me or no. do you meditate or what do you do I don't regard myself as super busy I know that sounds kind of crazy it and does. most people think that sounds really crazy um, I don't find myself, I don't, I think maybe my training in newspapers means that anything I've done since then has been kind of easy. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I have accepted that exercising three or four, time, four times a week is as much as I can do. Mm. I would like to do more, but I accept that's as much as I can do. I'd love to be five kilos lighter, never going to be. Just, it's just something that's not a priority and I'm never gonna get there. Right. I love going out to dinner with friends. I do a lot of it. And so those things are inconsistent. And I, I think I do spend, I mean, one of my girlfriends said to me the other day, but you do make a lot of time for your friends. And, and I thought about it and I kind of do. So I, I don't know, I, I sleep eight hours a night and, um, and I just fill my diary up and get yeah, through it. Yeah, yeah. That's but amazing. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I don't feel um, stretched at the yeah. moment. I feel like I have it in a reasonable balance. I've, in my younger, sillier days, I would go on the long lunches, you know, and not come back to the office and then have the had very like. slow days the next day and those sorts of things I've had to give up. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some of the naughty stuff that I used to do, I've had to give up.